Hey guys, my name is Deep the Aaron and welcome to part 3 ng ating basic C++ tutorial. So for today, we are going to learn about arrays. So maigsi lang yung tutorial na to. So on our tutorial flow, we are going to learn the array syntax. And then next, we are going to declare and we are going to output that array value. And then next, we are going to create an average calculator. So okay, first muna, i-define muna natin kung ano yung array. So ang array is a variable that contains multiple values and navigated using an index. So isa siyang variable na maraming laman na values. Tapos may tinatawag tayo na index kung saan pwede natin i-access yung isa-isang values na yun sa loob ng array na yun. So ang syntax niya is this. So kunwari, um, so tinuro ko last time yung mga data types. So like this, string, tapos yung pangalan ng variable natin, kunwari x, tapos dalawang square brackets, tapos sa loob nun, pwede yung, so kung ilan yung laman ng array natin. So eto nga, string x, square brackets, tapos merong number dun sa loob. Or pwede din namang string x, tapos square brackets, then equals, tapos curly braces, tapos yung mga laman nung array. So, Para mas maintindihan natin, we are going to code it on code blocks. So, eh, meron pang isa pang syntax, which is this. Kung pwede, pwede mo ding iset yung value niya, and at the same time, iseset natin kung gano'n siya ang kahaba. Okay, so let's go into code blocks. So guys, ah, gumawa kayo ng bagong console application, and then just delete this. So, we are going to declare an array. So, kanina nga, dito sa PowerPoint natin, ganito mag-declare ng array. So, gagamitin natin is yung second, ating second uh, method ng pag-declare ng array. So, for example, string um, colors. Tapos ganyan, square brackets, tapos equals, curly braces, tapos semicolon. So, sa loob nun, we are going to put the values. So, kunwari, um, yeah, so text siya, kailangan may quotation marks. Kunwari, red, read. <laughs> and then, we are going to separate other values using a comma. So, dahil wala tayo in-indicate na kung ilan yung laman niya, so, pwede kahit ilan sa una. So, at the later time, hindi nyo na pwedeng baguhin kung gano'ng kahaba yung array nyo. So, okay, go! Nalagay pa tayo ng isa pang color, orange, tapos um, yellow, blue, violet. So, and Meron na tayong 1, 2, 3, limang colors. So, paano natin kaya ma-access to? So, may tinatawag tayong index, which is, yun yung nagsasabi kung pang ilan siya. So, this is zero. So, kung i-access nyo siya, 0 siya, 0 yung index niya, and then this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, and this is 4. So, ayan yung index na tinatawag. So, ito yung element number 0, ito yung element number 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, para mas maintindihan nyo, we are going to print that out. So, paano mag, ano dito print? So, we are going to use C out. So, dalawang less than signs, and then yung gusto nating palabasin. So, in this case, we are going na papalabasin natin yung isa sa sa mga colors. So, we can just print colors and then yan, semicolon. So, what will happen kag pinrint natin yung colors lang? Wait natin. Yan. So, may lalabas na ganito. So, hindi natin siya maintindihan. <laughs> so, guys, paano natin access lahat ng laman dun sa loob ng array na to? We are going to use the index. So, square brackets ulit, tas Yung, dun sa loob, yung index na gusto natin i-access. So, kunwari, 0. So, yung 0 na yan, ito yun, yung red. Ito yun, yung red. Yan. Tapos, so, wag ka naman nilagay ko dito, 1, ito yung orange. So, let's try this and build and run. So, wait natin. Ayan, orange. Kasi, colors 1, ito yung pang 1. Again, sa 0, nagsisimula ang pagbibilang ng arrays. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, walang 5. So, pag itinry natin yung 4, close this, tapos i-run natin, violet yung lalabas. So, next naman tayo, sa so next na pag-declare ng ating array, we can use, um, yan, kunwari 5. So, yun yung length niya. So, may limang elements dun sa loob niya. So, wala tayo ilalagay na value. 
So, wala siyang laman, di ba? So, pwede natin siyang i-assign using colors 0 is equals to green. So, may laman na siya ngayon. So, if we, we, go, we are going to see out that color 0, and then we are going to build and run, lalabas yung color green. Kasi meron na siyang laman. Nilagyan natin siya ng laman, which is here. So, ayan. Pwede natin isa-isa yung i-assign. So, color 1 is equals to blue. So, may naman na din yung ones. So, guys, basically, yun yung logic ng ating mga array. So, if I haven't told you yet, pwede yung kahit anong data type dyan. So, pwede siyang int. Nalaligyan natin siya ng, let ng letter 1. Number 1. Then, pwede din natin i-see out yung int na yan. So, yan. Last 1 na to. Yan. Dahil lumabas 1. Kasi, int siya. So, okay, hindi na natin papatagalin pa. We are going to do our average calculator. So, basically, tapos na tayo sa array syntax and kung paano mag-declare and mag-output ng array value. We are now going to create an average calculator. So, let's do it this. So, again, pwedeng kahit anong data type sa array. So, we are going to use int for grades. So, pangalan ng variable grades. So, ilang grades ba? One ko apat. So, guys, Keep in mind lagi pagka nasa arrays, plus 1 lagi. Kasi 0, nagsisimula magbilang yung arrays. Okay. So, yan. Meron tayong mga hingi tayo ng apat na grade. So, kung nare-recall nyo pa sa mga last episodes, we, we learned about input. So, yung C in. So, again, paano tayo mag... Paano natin gagawin yun? So, first, maglalagay muna tayo ng indicator para alam natin kung kailan tayo mag... input ng number. Enter first grade. And then, sa ilalim, C in, dalawang greater than sign, tapos yung grade 0, yung unang, ano natin, grade. Okay, so, and then, semicolon ulit. Tapos yung C out, enter second number, second grade, I mean. So, yung susunod naman is, copy na lang natin yan, grades 1. So, hanggang 4 tayo. So, i-copy na lang natin to. Third and fourth. 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, guys, laging nga alandaan, 0 nagsisimula. Then, madalas nagkakamali. And then, paano nga pa kumuha ng average? So, idadagdag nyo lahat yung i-add nyo lahat ng grades. And then, i-divide nyo kung ilan sila. Okay? Gets. So, okay guys. So, the way we are going to do this is using C out. And then, kung alam niyo yung PEMDAS rule and GEMDAS rule from our grade school days and high school days, so pwede din natin i-apply yun sa programming so we can use parentheses para i-group yung mga operators natin para yun yung unahing i-gawing operation. So, para mas maintindihan nyo, we are going to do it. So, yan, dalawang less than sign, we are going to see out. So, again, dahil yun, ang gagawin natin first is, we are going to add every grade na nakuha natin. So, lagyan natin ng parenthesis kasi ang gusto natin gawin is, pag-addin muna bago natin i-divide. So, i-add natin lahat ng grades na yan. Grade 0, plus grades 1, plus grades 2, plus grades 3. So, sa labas ng parenthesis na to, pwede pa tayong maglagay ng operator. So, divide by kung ilan yung grades na nakuha natin, which is 4. And then, semicolon. So, yan. Yan yung average natin. Makukuha na natin yung average natin. Now, if we run this, gagana na lang ba't yan? So, build and run. So, okay. Enter. Dito muna tayo. Enter first grade. Sinari, naka-99 na ako sa programming. Tapos, naka-75 ako sa math. Tapos, naka-74 naka naman ako sa PE naka 98 ako dun sa ano programming 2 kasi enter na natin so there you go lumabas na yung average natin which is 86 so kung kakalculator nyo yan tama yan 99 plus 75 plus 74 plus 98 divided by 4 86.5 so guys dahil wala tayong float hindi siya magiging accurate. So, again, yung int, wala siyang decimal. Okay, kung pwede naman natin siyang palitan ng float para gusto nyo mas maging precise ang ating sagot. So, again, we are going to 
do then run this and then float na siya. So pwede na tayo maglagay ng 97.5, 93.2, 90.1, 185, 86.9. Enter. Ayan, 91.925. So guys, ganun lang kadaling gumawa ng average calculator sa ating C++ programming language using arrays. So guys, thank you for watching. Ito muna yung tuturo ko sa inyo arrays. And I hope to see you in the next video. Malapit na tayo sa conditional statements and loop. So, I will be hoping na nandun kayo and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!